guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 33 of Healing Good Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I love when my hair just does not want to stay out of my face sometimes. <laughs> Is you may port them all? Yeah, you're a doctor! I completely forgot about that. No, not like that. Just <laughs> Oh god, of course. Your best friends <laughs> like hold on, wait, 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 wait. He's an adult, you're in middle school, this is a big no no. But no, I mean <laughs> Of course it's not gonna happen. It's just, you know, Someone who took care of her when she was sick. <laughs> We're babies. Oh my god, hold on. Oh, that hurts. Don't do what I did this morning, which is like lay a certain way and then turn your neck, and your muscle just goes like. Like, I can't rip that because that's important, but you know, like. Mm, big old rip. No, don't do that. Because I have been in pain all day. It doesn't hurt. Like, my pain level is like a three now. It's not that bad. But, like, this morning. Ah! <laughs> like, oh my god. I wanted to die this morning after it happened. <laughs> and I was all ready to start my day. But I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> So I got a heating pad. I took some medicine. Medicine ain't new ish. I, I should maybe try again. I don't know. But oh no. <laughs> it makes you wonder if today, um, Dad who's gonna use his um his thing. Since the other two have transformed, of course it should be his time, you know. Aww. <laughs> oh, my child latte. Take that off for a couple of minutes since my wrist is bothering me. So I'm guessing that's when he's gonna say that he wants to quit being a doctor. Mm -hmm. I know the kitty, but you look at lots of trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you know, you look like a proud dad. I mean, look at her up my freaking thing. So, daughter. Exactly. So, you know, now would be nice. I mean, we know it's going to happen. I think he's just waiting for the right moment.
for yourself, yeah. See, and that's why something, there it, to me, it feels like we're doing, damn. Um, this is going to be, like, very similar to Go Princess. You know how, like, our villain was not the final, final villain? They might be doing that-ish. And if they do, mwah, thank you. Well, this is their alone time, just not today. Aww, gee, oh, you're so sweet. Oh, that looks good. You've grown so much. No, you did everything. If you didn't do what you did, Nadoka wouldn't have been like the way she is right now. He's thinking about retiring. Or he is going to retire. You want to retire? Or essentially you want to quit. Oh my! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> How? <laughs> he just went from bad to skinny in like a second. <laughs> if only. <laughs> no. Do you not know the dangers that you, if you do that? I get that, but you can't. And I bet you she would say no. Like, believe me, I get the fact of why she wants to tell him. But at the same time, you don't know the dangers of bringing him into a world like this. He's right. This is just a new chapter for him in his life.
at it. Honestly, this is showing the oh God, and because uh, it's like that currently now in the world, the doctor-patient relationship, and especially you know whatever happens, something good or something bad, that the doctor, the nurse, the CNA cares for that person or cared for that person. You don't get to always see that emotional side of a nurse, a doctor, a CNA or whoever, because they have to put on a brave face for that family. My mom is a CNA. She has to do that every time when she goes to work. And so when she comes home and she tells me about it, it makes me sad. It makes me want to break down and cry. Even though I don't know the person. No. No. No, don't come. <laughs> exactly. Mm hmm. Just as much as he helped you, you helped him. Well, damn, that's it. So you're not going to be the monster of the week this week? I mean, we're 13 minutes into this episode. <laughs> I oh god no I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait until this episode to say what I want to say. Oh, daddy. Yeah, that's daddy. I mean, you look different though. <laughs> Let me see your face. Yeah, but not really. Well, damn, I, you know, I kind of assumed that we were going to run. But yes, because these children are still children and they got to transform into older women, uh, technically uh, teenagers and older women, uh, yeah, young women, it's like that. Mm. Of course, yeah, because, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> it's okay, though. Honestly, I just want to see Daru. I mean, you only showed, like, a little bit, but he's shrouded in black, but lightly, where you can still see his facial expressions and his face and his body and everything else. Ow, that fucking hurt. But I need to see what he looks like to see how much he's changed. He's sitting here saying he don't, he feels, you don't feel no different. I want to know what the heck you look like. Now. Seriously. So unfair.
Oh, he look good. He got longer hair. Oh my god. My thing, like, look at him. He looks so nice. My thing. Alexa, shut up. I just want to know. <laughs> if they're going to fight. If Dado and Dado Kai are going to fight today. That's all I want to see, really. Damn, nothing is getting through to him. And of course, Fontaine's next. Still nothing. I mean, he ain't even flinch. Not once. Y'all gonna fight now? We gonna fight! Let's a fight! <laughs> I mean, it's not really fair with two on one. But I get it. Oh. Oh. Don't worry about her. She's got it. You just focus on you. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I honestly wish we still got a teeny tiny piece more of freaking data and Grace fighting. I mean, I think what they're gonna do is they're saving that for the end. All this, the, the tension between those two, it's going to come down. This is, this is Go Princess Pretty Cure Part 2, except this is freaking, um, what was her name? Um, Flora. This is Flora's kid. <laughs> Nadoka is Flora's kid. End of the day.
Is it me or this episode went by really fast? Y'all doing it like I say, yo, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Glad he's okay. Yeah, this was a really fast episode. I mean, honestly, especially like looking at the timer because I was like, Jesus, we almost done with this episode. I'm like, damn. But uh, as I said, this the relationship of her sensei, the doctor, and Nadoka is very similar to a doctor-patient relationship. Um, how people care for people. And a lot of people think that people, especially who work in the medical field, don't really care about people. But people who are patients and people who are doctors and CNAs and nurses do care for them. But I can't really talk about people who work in um, senior citizen homes, it's like kind of a different thing, but I've seen more bad things in senior citizens homes than good. Ow. Um, and yeah, sometimes you don't always get to see that person again, and it's sad. And you don't, you don't always get to see the emotional side. Like I said, because of the fact is that doctor, that CNA, or that nurse has to be strong for the family and not break down and cry but when that family leaves and they're alone that's when they break down and cry because they really truly cared for that person and they hoped and prayed that that person their patient would get better what oh no 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 we need a fighter girl This life, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. No, y'all didn't. This is like, um, freaking Madoka from last season and her rival. And I get that. I get the fact that, yes, she was very good at her spark, and of course, we're gonna need a rival character for her, but did we really need one? Really? Are you serious? I mean, mm, okay. I mean, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about it. We, I, we'll find out next week. But like, mm, this, I think this is probably the best episode right now. This was a really damn good episode for um, Healing Good Pretty Care as of now. There's been some other ones. But for me, I think right now, this is now number one. Because I, I do like the fact is that, yes, this show, even though, yes, it is for kids, it does have adult lessons for kids. Not only with the fact is, yes, this show has now shown same-sex couples, um, guys dressing in girl and dresses and that the new normal, the modern day normal that is what we're in right now 2020 i'm next year i'm kind of waiting for them to show like stuff from pandemic and stuff but i don't think they'll do that because as of right now we still don't have a trademark and hopefully we get something soon um but really this was a probably maybe now one of the best episodes because i think this was something that we really truly needed to see was the person who did take care of nadoka coming back into her life and seeing how much she's grown from the day she was um, admitted into the hospital to the point of the day where she finally was out of the hospital and gave him that letter and saying thank you because that's growth. And even though, yes, he is quitting to be a doctor, but he's still essentially going to be in the medical field and find the next chapter of his life, that's still good. And so what I'm kind of hoping is by the end of this series... Um, 
we do get to see her with her doctor again, even though he'll be much, much older. I mean, mm, I, I can't even remember what I was going to say during the part where, um, <laughs> like at the halfway point of this episode, but what, I should have just said it in there. But honestly, like, oh, no, now I remember. Now I remember because it was, it was what I was talking about. Basically, this is what I think they're doing right now. As I was saying, this is kind of very similar to Go Princess Pretty Care. You know how our big bad of Go Princess Pretty Care, when she finally got knocked down, we had, um, was it Locke? I think it was Locke. Locke was the main, like, in my opinion, like, the main, main baddie, despite what's her face. So it seems like we're getting that, where Dadu is the main, main baddie for our pretty girls instead of what's his face. Because we haven't, we're 33 episodes into this. We've only seen the face that he uses and his voice. And hopefully we get to see his body and everything of what he truly looks like soon. So that eventually he gets killed. And let's say daughter's like, F it, I just want to use him. Takes his energy, puts it in my body and become this one badass villain. Big badass villain, something like that. I don't know. Because it's almost similar about with Locke. Um, from Go Princess. So I wouldn't be mad if this show decided to end at how many of our episodes are supposed to end with the finale battle of Grace and Daru fighting one last time because it seems like we're going that way. The tension between these two is so freaking high that it's not even funny. And I just, I want it. 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 I mean, this fight was just like, <laughs> the little teeny tiny bite it was good but seriously please do that I beg you <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction view to this episode 33 of healing good pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday Sunday for episode 34 bye guys